I grew up one mile uh, from this building, and I went away, you know, as many 18-year-olds do, for educational and professional opportunities that I was extremely fortunate to have. I got to live and work all over the world. But after I had my first child, my first daughter, I knew I wanted to come, come back here, come back home to Idaho. And I, I called up my mom and said, how much free childcare can you give us? And she said, 24-7. And so that was a good deal. So we, we came. And uh, we live just a few blocks from my parents. Uh, they're, uh, my dad's probably on his way to pick up my daughter from school right now. And, um, and my, uh, my seventh grader's probably already there hanging out. Um, they're the glue that holds us together and lets me do what I can do, um, what, I, what I do here. Um, I've got three brothers. They, they all live in town with their families. And every holiday and every birthday, we get to be together. Um, and just fam family is everything. And so that's why I'm so torn today, um, because my parents have done so much for me. I need to be here. I need to be here for them as they age, um, when they age. I don't think they'd admit that they're aging yet. Um, but I also want to be close to my children as they grow up and become adults. And I want to be there if, God willing, I get to have grandkids someday. And um, I think my mom would say that she paid it forward, all that she and my dad did for us, and I want to do that for my grandkids. But I can't encourage my two daughters to settle in Idaho with the laws we have on the books. Um, I would be terrified to have my daughters try to carry a pregnancy here. Uh, this is not a safe place to be pregnant. I think this statute is tearing families apart and is pushing our ob guys out of state, and this bill does nothing to change that. Um, I declared a Rule 80 because I am a um, I'm a person with a uterus of childbearing age, and um, if you care about those of us in this position, I urge you to do much better than this.